Today, I'm going to show you everything I do to get ready for my son's weekly infusions for his severe hemophilia B. I will also be sharing a trick that has worked tremendously, and I don't know how we would do weekly infusions without it in the video. My son has a port implant, and before his 10 a.m. infusion, we put on the numbing cream at 9.30. So I put the numbing cream on and the Tegaderm, and it works really well to ensure that he feels no pain while we insert the needle. Our regular nurse was out of town, so we had to use a new nurse this week who our regular nurse ended up finding for us, and I'm so thankful she did that. My son is also on new medication this week, so I was a little nervous. So getting his numbing cream ready for him, and then also we did some testing on my son and found out the replacement factor was not in his system at all by the end of the week. So we ended up switching to a longer lasting factor. I finally was able to pour myself a cup of coffee and then I also checked the time just to make sure that I'm putting that numbing cream on at least 30 minutes before his infusion. So I go ahead and put the numbing cream on the port implant and for some reason he still doesn't really like this. It shouldn't be painful. It could just be because the cream is cold and I make sure that it is stuck on there because it has fallen off and obviously we want it to be numb. So here is my trick. My son likes vanilla pudding and I put vanilla pudding in the syringes before his infusion. So that way during his infusion, I'm feeding him syringes of pudding. It's keeping him distracted and happy and we can do the infusions because if you watch my other videos, an infusion is quite a process. So this has been amazing even for hospital visits. Everyone's always impressed with how well my son does for his age with infusions. And I'm telling you, it's the vanilla pudding. So if you have a child with hemophilia, if they like vanilla pudding, they don't have an allergy. This is my one thing. And now I wash just to ensure that my son does not have any new reactions to his new medication, no rashes, and I'm just observing him. But so far, he seems to be doing well. And I'm so thankful that there is even treatment for hemophilia so my son can live a normal life with modifications.